Dhabi International Airport occupies an area of 735,000 square meters. It assembles a huge X and adopts an innovative floating roof structure. The central processor roof is a large span, complex space steel structure composed of 18 spatial double curved arches, 9 curved girders, 36 backstays, 18 buttresses and considerable trusses and compression struts. The largest arch spans 180 meters with maximum height of 56 meters. More than 50,000 tons of steel has been used. It will be the largest international airport in the Middle East. Reputable international contractors were employed to deliver this project. The most challenging structural steelworks of the central processor is undertaken by CSCEC. CSCEC is one of the largest construction contracting groups in the world. With over three decades development, it has accumulated rich experiences in building large-scale structural steel projects. Given its massive volume, challenging design and high social influence, at the very beginning of the project, CSCEC has carefully organized and integrated superior resources to tackle this daunting task. Three-dimensional and double-curved architectural design introduces a lot of challenges to structural engineering. Setting out-of-steel members in 3D model is complicated. Workload of connection design is huge as force profiles are sophisticated and untypical. Design calculation of substantial connections find no reference in current British and American specifications. Given its sophisticated structural design, the original design has been altered over 260 times in the past three years. Repeated changes in calculation, modeling and detailing result in huge pressure on raw material procurement, fabrication and erection. Preliminary statistics indicate that drawing submittals amount to over 40,000 sheets and calculation reports over 300,000 sets. Depropping is the last critical operation in erection of large span structure. The biggest challenge is to achieve simultaneous depropping at multiple points. The roof steel structure of this project is massive with a large span. Based on its structural features and construction methodology, arch, backstay and primary girder were divided into many lifting segments. Total numbers of temporary support points are more than 600. Through structure analysis and comparisons between different methodologies, the entire roof structure was divided into eight depropping zones. Every zone could be depropped once erection is completed and structural stability is achieved. The depropping operation was carried out under command of an experienced specialist with support of 80 hydraulic jacks. Every depropping process were divided into 8 to 12 steps. Every step with movement less than 5 millimeters, so as to achieve simultaneous depropping at multiple points. Almost all special materials available in the structural steel industry have been used in this project, such as cast steel components, high precision pins, tension and compression struts, and so on. World-famous brands are nominated on drawing. As the UAE building material market is underdeveloped, most of these special materials have to be procured from a dozen countries, such as China, Germany and the UK. Global procurement is challenging. Raw material resources are limited in the UAE local market. Most of the steel were procured from China, then shipped to the UAE. In order to meet construction schedule, we procured and hired various lifting equipment around the world. We procured four mega mobile tower cranes from Zoomline China. Maximum lifting capacity is 63 tons. Seven of 600 ton crawlers were hired from Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Belgium to accelerate the project progress. This machinery was transported by ship then by 30 to 40 heavy-duty trailers to the project site for assembly and setting up.
In order to achieve the acceleration program, since March 2015, a large number of laborers were recruited urgently from China, India, Pakistan, Thailand and Vietnam. Manpower increased from 500 in March to 2,300 in September. Average daytime temperature is about 40 degrees centigrade from May to October. It even reaches 50 degrees centigrade in June, July and August. It's really a challenge to physical limits of human body to carry out construction work in such environments. The quality inspection and testing plan covers more than 72 items, including raw material testing, member dimensional inspection, well test, critical slip coefficient test, bolt and paint inspection, etc. Substantial AESS members require superior surface appearance. It takes one week to grind one well to flush, which leads to a long inspection cycle. Quality control procedure requires 100% MPT and UT for all welded joints and over 50% testing on bolted joints. Both exceed that required by British standards. Strict safety inductions were programmed to assure construction safety. All staff, including laborers and management staff, have to attend a two-day full-time safety induction before being allowed to work on sites. All special trade laborers, such as welders, riggers, scaffolders, crane and man-lift operators, are required to receive training and obtain occupation certificates from local training providers. Majority of skilled laborers were welders, scaffolders and riggers. It took 28 days for these trade laborers to obtain local certificates. To date, there were more than 5,000 laborers that have attended the safety inductions. Full fire prevention should be guaranteed for hot work and safe operation platform must be installed for working at heights. Detailed data analysis should be provided before lifting. Huge volume of safety measure materials have been used on sites such as scaffolding, fasteners, wood planks, fireproofing fabric. Abu Dhabi International Airport is a sophisticated large-scale project which covers many trades and each trade is closely connected and interlinked. This requires a great deal of coordination. Meanwhile, numerous design changes posed great impacts to all aspects of construction work, greatly increased the workload and brought a great challenge to the management of CSCEC. In order to meet acceleration requirements, CSCEC arranged more than 245 managers and engineers and spent great efforts and finally accomplished the structure deproping of central processor roof by June 2016. A person doesn't become great by himself, but by the cause he commits to. Abu Dhabi International Airport is both a challenge and an opportunity. CSCEC has fully played its own strengths, adopted all the available resources, and integrated all the team's efforts. It finally presented a satisfactory result, contributed an impressive chapter to this great project, and helped in realizing the ambition of this city of Oregon.